Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome to the So Essential vlog. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics that we've had on the website in recent weeks and months. As always, I'll be making suggestions for patterns that you can pair them with. All of the patterns and the fabrics I mentioned are available on our website and the link to our website's below. And before I get started, I should just mention the simple t-shirt dress that I'm wearing, which is Birda 6540. I made this a couple of years ago in one of our jersey fabrics, which sadly is long gone but the pattern's still available and it's a great simple summer dress everyday dress that you can make um, and we've got lots of lovely new jersey fabrics that would be perfect for it so you can find details about this dress on my blog which the link to that is below as well so time to get cracking with the exciting part which is all these gorgeous fabrics so the first one is well the first three actually are Lozano fabrics by John Caldor so these are cotton sateen the most beautiful quality a really lovely soft handle they feel so oh they feel so beautifully soft um 100% cotton they've got lots of beautiful drape and movement so they are just absolutely ideal they fly out the door every year they're just ideal for your summer dresses and skirts and that sort of thing um, really really pretty fabrics this one's um, I love the white colorway with the popping colors against it just think this would make the perfect knockout summer garden party dress and then we also have a Lizano in this lovely silvery blue colourway. And I feel that this has got almost like a retro um, design to it. It reminds me of the 60s and 70s, the flowers do. I just think it's really unusual, really pretty. And I love the choice of colours on this version. And then we also have this lovely dark floral one. So it's like, it's a black or is it a navy background it's very very hard to tell um it's black it is black um a black background with these gorgeous sort of midnighty colors um lovely indigos and purples and things on the floral design um i just love these dark florals for summer it just makes me think of being in a really pretty garden somewhere whereas the day ends and uh, night falls it's just they're just so lovely and magical um so yeah they're the lisano fabrics the pattern i would suggest for those is one that i really want to get around to making this year it's an absolute stunner and it is simplicity 8594 um it's brilliant value for money because i think there's quite a few different options and different looks in here so the one I would go for is a beautiful halter neck dress. So there's wide straps that come up into a halter there. The bodice is shaped like that. It's a very fitted bodice. And then there's a flared um, sort of full skirt that comes out from the waist and it has pockets which is very exciting I know for a lot of people and I just think that would look beautiful made up in one of those Lozano fabrics um, the other option is the same bodice and neckline but very very fitted pencil skirt so if you felt in the mood for a bit of a wiggle at a barbecue or a garden party show off those curves I think that one would work really well and then if you're somebody who isn't comfortable with having your arms exposed there is also an option where it's got this lovely um bodice with the uh, that sort of shape at the top it, all of them have got princess seams as well so you're going to be able to get a good fit in the bust area um, and then again there's options for with that one for a full skirt or a, a fitted pencil skirt but then above the bodice there are sort of grown on sleeves there and then it's quite a nice neckline with just a little v at the top really pretty lots of different options i think that would be perfect and i would want to make the sundress with the full skirt so hopefully i'll get round to that this summer the next fabric I want to talk to you about is another John Caldor and this is a Salso. So these again are always super popular in the summer. They are linen and viscose mix. So it's roughly half and half. The actual 
proper breakdown is on our website um, but they are just beautiful and perfect for summer lovely and drapey um, natural fibers completely breathable I know a lot of people really like linens and viscose for summer and I just think this simple monochrome design is really striking as well and um, would make lots of lovely items for your summer wardrobe that would keep you super cool um, so the pattern that I chose for that was McCall's 7872. So this is a jumpsuit pattern that came out a few releases ago. I've always really liked it. Again, lots of different options and versions in this pattern, but the one I would go for is View C, which is a sleeveless jumpsuit with a little collar, um, button, uh, no buttons, sorry. I'm not sure how this is fastened actually. What does it say? Um, Sorry, I'm just having a look. It looks like it's finished with a zip. Um, yeah, it looks like it's finished with a zip or, hang on, yeah, a zip or um, snaps. The different views of a finish with zips or snaps. All of the details for all of the patterns are on our website. There's always full pattern details on there. If you click the PDF file at the bottom of the page, that'll give you all the information. But yeah, I think that jumpsuit would look really classic in that black and white print. Um, I think it would be smart enough to wear to work and that sort of thing but then equally you could dress it up with strappy heels and wear it on an evening out or wear it during the day with flat sandals. You know it'd be really versatile and a really good staple item to have in your wardrobe for summer. So the next fabrics I want to talk to you about are these Porsche fabrics. So Porsche is another John Caldor. It's a lovely jersey fabric and um, lovely and soft, very, very drapey, lots of stretch. Um, I've made lots of things in Porsche and it's just absolutely beautiful. It washes and wears well. So we've got this sort of... Um, abstract almost like brush strokes design in the lovely greeny yellowy colours there and then we've also got the blue and red and white version as well which I just think the colours they've chosen for these are really pretty and very very summery um, and the pattern I chose for these was one that I haven't come across or haven't noticed before and that was Birda 6428 so it's a simple t-shirt pattern but there's also a short sleeve t-shirt which is it looks like a simple t-shirt um, bodice but then it's got a ruffle almost, almost like a bardo but it's not actually off the shoulder it comes up onto the shoulder and I think that would work really really well in those fabrics I think it would look really pretty and then you could just pair that top with um, some simple jeans and I think it would look lovely so that was my choice for the Porsches and then finally we've got this gorgeous denim which is just the most lovely colour for summer it's like a lilac-y blue almost it, it, it is a blue it's not a lilac um, but it's a really lovely colour it's got stretch in it um, I think it's about three or four percent stretch again all the details are on the website um, but it has got some stretch in it and I just think it's a really nice alternative to your sort of indigo blues and what have you for summer it's just a nice lighter colour and you can see the stretch in that um, it's a nice weight as well so it's ideal for jeans or skirts and the patterns I chose for this fabric are either the Nest Skirt by Tilly and the Buttons which is a tried and tested pattern for me. I made one of these earlier this year in a needle cord and I absolutely love it and I do want to make more definitely in denim perhaps in this denim and also I want a black denim one as well. Um, and that comes in like a midi length option or a short um, mini length. I mean, they call it a mini, but it's just above the knee. So nothing too revealing. There's some lovely details on there. It's a really simple sew. They really hold your hand through the whole process. There's a fly front zip on it. So if you haven't done one of those before, they've got an excellent video where they take you step by step a really easy method of inserting a fly front zip. Um, so yeah, can't say enough good things about that pattern and I think it would look great made up in this lovely pale blue denim. 
And then if you're not into skirts and you fancy making some jeans, I thought the ginger jeans would work really well in this fabric as well. And I just think in the summer, it is nice to have a pair of jeans in a lighter color way, um, you know, rather than your traditional blacks and indigo blues. So I'd be tempted to give that a go. There's two different views for the ginger jeans. They're skinny jeans, um, there's a high-waisted version and then there's a sort of normal sits on the waist version. Not a pattern I've tried yet but definitely definitely need to get around to trying it because so many great things are said about this pattern and I love the way that Heather from Closet Case as well who designed this pattern um, put some fantastic tutorials up on her blog on how to get the fit right with trousers and jeans which are really really helpful and I've used for other projects as well. So that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, all of the patterns, all of the fabrics I mentioned are available on our site and the link to our site's below. If you like what you see today as well, please like and subscribe and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>